Imagine a creamy and cheesy chicken Alfredo casserole, bubbling hot from the oven with tender pieces of chicken soaked in a rich Alfredo sauce, layered with soft pasta and topped with a crispy layer of Parmesan. Hungry yet? Let's dive into this tantalizing dish, the chicken Alfredo casserole. A perfect blend of comforting pasta, rich Alfredo sauce, succulent chicken, and a golden cheesy crust that takes this dish to the next level. It's not just a meal, it's an experience, a journey of flavors that will keep you coming back for more. The journey begins with the selection of the right ingredients. Fresh chicken breasts, the star of our casserole, paired with a quality Parmesan cheese, creamy butter, and heavy cream. Add in some garlic for a punch of flavor and of course your pasta of choice. Farfalle, penne, or even classic spaghetti will do the trick. Next, we move on to cooking the chicken. A dash of salt, a sprinkle of pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil is all it takes to make these chicken breasts flavorful and juicy. Cook them until they're golden brown and the aroma fills your kitchen. While the chicken is resting, it's time to create our creamy Alfredo sauce. It starts with melting butter in a saucepan, followed by sauteing minced garlic until it's golden brown. Then we pour in the heavy cream, stirring continuously until it's warm. Now comes the best part, adding the Parmesan cheese. Watch as it melts into the cream, creating a luxurious velvety Alfredo sauce. Once the sauce is ready, it's time to assemble our casserole. A layer of cooked pasta at the bottom, followed by the cooked chicken pieces, and then generously smothered with the creamy Alfredo sauce. Repeat the layers until you run out of ingredients, making sure the topmost layer is a good helping of Parmesan cheese. Into the preheated oven it goes, baking until the cheese is golden and bubbling, and the aroma is irresistible. And there you have it, a mouth-watering chicken Alfredo casserole that's the epitome of comfort food. Next up, we dive into the classic comfort of a shepherd's pie, a delightful fusion of flavors with a meaty filling topped with a creamy layer of mashed potatoes. Imagine a dish that takes you back to your grandmother's kitchen, where every bite is a warm hug. That's the charm of a shepherd's pie. Originating from the British Isles, this scrumptious dish is a staple in many homes across the globe for its simplicity, versatility, and the ability to feed a crowd. Now let's embark on the journey of creating this classic. Begin by prepping your ingredients. You'll need ground lamb or beef, depending on your preference, onions, carrots, peas, and of course, potatoes. The fresher the ingredients, the better the outcome. Let's start with the meaty filling. Saute the onions until they turn translucent and then add your ground meat. As it browns, toss in your diced carrots and peas. Don't forget the seasonings, a dash of salt, a sprinkle of pepper, and a hint of rosemary and thyme for that aromatic touch. Once everything is well combined and cooked, set it aside. While the filling is cooling, let's move to the mashed potatoes. Boil your potatoes until they're tender, then drain and mash them till they're creamy and smooth. Add a generous dollop of butter for that extra richness and season to taste. Now comes the fun part, assembling the pie. Layer your meat filling at the bottom of a casserole dish, then top it off with the mashed potatoes. Flatten the surface with a spatula and create a crisscross pattern with a fork. This will give your pie a beautiful golden crust when baked. Into the oven it goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the top is golden brown and the filling is bubbling with deliciousness. And voila, you've just created a heavenly shepherd's pie that will warm the heart and the belly. And the best part? You've made enough to share with your loved ones because good food is all about sharing. So gather around the table and dig in. For our vegetarian friends, we present the Eggplant Parmesan Casserole, a delicious medley of layered eggplant, rich tomato sauce, and melted cheese. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of this recipe. The first step is to gather your ingredients. You'll need two medium-sized eggplants, a jar of your favorite marinara sauce, some fresh basil, and a generous heap of Parmesan and mozzarella cheeses. Start by prepping your eggplants. Slice them into thin rounds about a quarter of an inch thick. This thickness is ideal as it allows the eggplant to cook evenly without becoming too mushy. Then lightly salt the slices and leave them to sweat out their bitterness for about 20 minutes. Pat them dry afterwards. While the eggplants are doing their thing, it's time to heat up your skillet. Add a splash of olive oil and fry the eggplant slices until they're golden brown on each side. This step will add an extra depth of flavor to your casserole. Once they're done, 
set them aside on a paper towel to drain any excess oil. Next, let's move on to the assembly. In a casserole dish, start with a layer of marinara sauce at the bottom. Then add a layer of your fried eggplant slices, followed by a sprinkle of both cheeses and a handful of fresh basil leaves. Repeat this until you've used up all your ingredients, making sure to finish with a final layer of cheese on top. Now, it's time to bake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cook your casserole for about 25 to 30 minutes. You're looking for the cheese on top to be bubbly and slightly browned. Once it's done, let it rest for about 10 minutes before serving. And there you have it, a vegetarian casserole that's so good, even the carnivores will be reaching for seconds. This eggplant parmesan casserole is not only hearty and delicious, but it's also a great way to include more vegetables in your diet. So why not give it a try? You just might find your new favorite dish. Now, for a recipe that kids and adults alike will adore, the mac and cheese casserole, creamy, cheesy, and oh, so comforting. A beloved classic, the mac and cheese casserole is a dish that brings together the comforting creaminess of cheese and the delightful texture of macaroni. It's the kind of meal that brings back memories of childhood, yet still manages to satisfy the palates of grown-ups. Let's start with the ingredients. You're going to need some elbow macaroni, sharp cheddar, Monterey Jack cheese, unsalted butter, all-purpose flour, whole milk, salt, and black pepper. And for an extra layer of flavor and crunch, some breadcrumbs and a bit of melted butter for the topping. The first step is to cook the macaroni. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil, add the macaroni, and cook until it's just shy of al dente. You want it to have a bit of bite because it will continue to cook in the oven. While the macaroni is boiling, let's get started on the cheese sauce. In a large saucepan, melt the butter over medium heat, then whisk in the flour to create a roux. This roux will help thicken our sauce and make it extra creamy. Gradually pour in the milk, whisking constantly to prevent lumps. Continue to cook and stir until the sauce thickens. Once the sauce is thick and creamy, it's time to stir in the cheese. Add in the cheddar and Monterey Jack, stirring until they're fully melted and the sauce is smooth. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Now it's time to combine the macaroni and cheese sauce. Pour the sauce over the drained macaroni and stir until every piece is coated in that glorious cheese sauce. Transfer the mixture to a baking dish, sprinkle with the breadcrumb and butter mixture, and bake until it's golden and bubbly. And that's how you make a mac and cheese casserole that's sure to put a smile on every face at the dinner table. Now that we've covered some delicious recipes, here are some crucial tips and tricks for making the perfect casserole every time. Firstly, the dish you use matters. Casseroles need to be cooked evenly, so opt for a shallow, wide dish rather than a deep, narrow one. This allows for a larger surface area, ensuring every morsel gets cooked perfectly. Next, avoid the temptation to overfill your casserole. If you pile in too many ingredients, they won't cook evenly and you might end up with a soggy mess. Aim for a dish that's about two-thirds full. Lastly, let's talk temperature and timing. Casseroles are best cooked low and slow, so keep your oven temperature moderate and be patient. Remember, good things come to those who wait. And there you have it. Three key elements to perfect casserole cooking. The right dish, the right amount of filling, and the right temperature and time. Remember these tips and your casserole dishes will always be a hit. And that wraps up our casserole cooking masterclass. We've taken a delightful culinary journey together, exploring the rich creamy layers of the irresistible chicken Alfredo casserole, savored the hearty goodness of the scrumptious shepherd's pie, and discovered the vegetarian's delight in our eggplant parmesan casserole. We also brought a smile to the little ones with the much-loved mac and cheese casserole. Along the way, we've learned some critical tips and tricks for perfecting these dishes. Remember, the right balance of ingredients is essential, and the secret to a delicious casserole often lies in the seasoning. Don't forget the importance of preheating your oven and greasing your baking dish for those golden, crispy edges we all love. Now that you're equipped with these tantalizing recipes and handy tips, it's your turn to bring these delightful dishes to life in your kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to Stephen Kitchen for more delicious recipes and cooking tips. Until next time, happy cooking!